So seeing that we have a quorum, uh, this meeting is officially called to order. So please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Chair Cha. Present, present. Commissioner Garcia. Here. Commissioner Oliva. Here. Commissioner Oliver. Here. Commissioner Sierra. Here. Commissioner Andres. Here. Thank you. We have form. Okay, so this is the time for the commission to consider matters under consent calendar. Um, items include numbers one and two. Uh, do any members have any corrections or to the minutes or items they wish to pull for separate discussion or to abstain on? Nope. Okay, so then do I have a motion to consider items one and two? I have a motion. Okay. I second. Okay. okay, Commissioner Garcia, uh, moves and um, Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> Commissioner Oliver second. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. All those opposed, say no. Okay, so the matter is approved by unanimous consent. Okay, we have two work study sessions today. Uh, please note that there will be no motion or action taken on this item. The first item on the work study session calendar is the mural, uh, mural policy subcommittee report. Deputy staff or commissioners? Okay, so um, yeah, Commissioner um, Oliva and Sierra, if you guys would like to give us an update. Do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start. Um, so Commissioner Sierra and I took a, took the task of writing this mural policy for the city of Santa Ana, and we looked at the work that the previous subcommittee had done, which was. Um, pulling information from San Diego, New York, Pittsburgh, and they, they did a lot of the research and we just put together uh, a more synthesized version of what the policy could look like and we pulled information from the LA mural ordinance that currently exists in the city of Los Angeles and it's a very rough, um, rough version of the policy but we also um, thought that it would be great to conduct some sort of focus group with the artists of the city and and we constructed a survey that we're hoping that we could send out through through TRAM. And um, yeah, let, I hope we were able to discuss some of the questions and go a little bit more in depth through it. Commissioner Sierra? Yes, uh, thank you. Yes, there's uh, 20 questions that um, we believe are um, pertinent to ask to the artists, um, it was mentioned by um, Trump that there is a list of at least 500 contacts that we can reach out to and get their opinion and gather more information from the community, which is one of the um, objectives to get the, their feeling and their opinions so we can move on on presenting a policy in the future to the council for consideration. So, um, yeah, I, I received copies of the questions and the sample policy, um, and I think, um, I, you know, in our discussions, we, um, uh, I think we talked about whether, you know, um, TRAM had some answers, you know, some institutional knowledge about some of these questions, um, so I think we need to kind of flush them out a little bit more before it's actually sent out um, and presented to the community. Um, and I think with regards to the mural policy, um, I, my, my thought is that that's not something that would go out necessarily to, for, for comment or review. Um, but that, you know, we can, we can submit this to, um, to staff um, maybe as, a, as, as something that we can kind of work on. But um, I, yeah, I think you guys have done an, an amazing job. And, and I think once, 
this is a, I think like synthesized a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I think you know, I think we're, I think hopefully the public will be happy with the efforts that we've done. I also was notified that uh, I think Commissioner Sarmiento um, had inquired about um, the status of, of, of our mural policy. I don't know, Trina, if you had any update. I know that he had, I think, indicated that we were working on, on putting something together, and I don't know if you had gotten any further inquiry. No, that's it. He was just, I think, because the community's bringing it up a lot, so I think council members are, are m much more uh, curious about what's going on and invested in seeing something happen. So I, yeah, we're on the right track. But I also like to ask commissioners if you'd like to share some of uh, these questions so that if other commissioners can give input, you know, on what you have so far, perhaps, yes. Maybe just the focus of the questions. Um, well, okay, so I think some of the questions, um, uh, I think maybe the top ones, I guess, maybe some of the more important ones. So um, maybe kind of taking a little bit of a survey about how people feel uh, about the um, covering up or whitewashing of mm -hmm. you know murals mm -hmm. around the city. Um, again, you know, it's, it's private property versus public property, so you know maybe try to gauge community sentiment on that. Um, whether or not there should be fees um, that are assessed, you know, for murals. Um, and Meaning fees of registering, re registra uh, registration <laughs> of the murals yeah. themselves for you know administrative costs and all of that. It could be nominal, like fifty dollars, but still. Okay. I think there, um, uh, you know, uh, maybe which department in the city should be responsible for either reviewing the mural um, proposals or approving them or monitoring them for um, any any set any. So to try to gauge, like maybe who, what what department in the community kind of sees as the um, you know, authoritative you know um, uh, department or you know office within the city, um, and questions regarding like the rights <coughs> of the muralists of you know with you know over their murals, um, and I think. One question here about who owns the mural on a private property. Um, I, I think that that's kind of a, a maybe a, a legal. They are know, legal questions. Yeah, it's like more of a legal mm -hmm. discussion. Um, <coughs> so I think these questions that have been posed, um, I think, are really um, necessary to address in, in some capacity, but maybe just not with the community at, at large. Um, but. I think they're components of, um, of, of what a, a mural policy should be addressing. Oh, yes. Yeah. Why 20? 20, you said 20 questions? Was that out, out of so many, or just, it just happened to be 20? It's just uh, we decided that it can be um, originally 10, between 10 and 20, mm -hmm. and we decided to go for 20 because it gave us a little more range of um, expanding the type of questions yeah. that we were looking to ask. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, 10, it was like too little. And especially because we were looking at, we have an example of the uh, mural uh, policy from LA. Uh -huh. And we were looking and following some of the examples that they have. And we were asking those questions as we go along with the mural mm -hmm. policy. And uh, how are we going to be asking for what do they think about uh, the original art murals, how uh, public art installation, um, um, vintage original art murals, etc. It's 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 just very extensive, and we would like to uh, include as many questions and questions also focus on the issue going on on the city about the um, the defacing of the mural uh, in question. Uh, so. Um, that's why we decided to go for 20. It can change. We can either add or remove some of the questions. And of course, we would like to see your input, all of you. Um, 
so we can um, rewrite them and, and in the future send them to the artists for their consideration. Are you going to send us those questions or how? Yes, uh, we asked Trump to share with you. Um, so far, I think only we share with. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think because um, I guess I'm kind of the unofficial third member of this. <laughs> so <laughs> it's been shared within the subcommittee <coughs> itself, um, and I know I personally um, would like to kind of maybe take a slightly more um, uh, closer look um, at the questions and see if, like you know. Tram has moved in also very recently, um, and she may have some answers to these questions yeah. already. So I would like the subcommittee to maybe have a little bit more time to kind of call through and refine mm -hmm. before we present uh, to the, the commission, you know, um, okay. um, as a whole. So let's, let's I, I would say maybe we keep this on um, the agenda for discussion. At our next so meeting. can we extend um, the subcommittee for another couple months, Ryan? Yeah, as long as you have a, a set purpose and it sounds like there's some more work to be done, uh, you can extend that, but that is a good point. It needs to, an official action needs to be taken to extend, well, not really an action of the entire commission. The chair just needs to extend the uh, subcommittee uh, to go for an extended period of time because it was set to go until, I Today. think, this meeting, yeah. yes. Uh, so if the chair could please extend, officially extend it for however long we think, another two months, one month? How, how long do you think it would, um, to, before we We have that discussion and I think it was like, we wanted to like have something more concrete by the end of the year and present it next year. So just at least a couple months so we can continue working on it and maybe having some more defined work in uh, January, February maybe. Um, bring it to the public or start or sending the survey. Or reporting out. Or reporting, reporting here, out here again uh -huh. for a new um, uh, revision, if that's okay. That, that was kind of like the uh, time timeline, time frame that uh, we were uh, looking into. So, so you'd like um, to extend it to February 2020? Yeah, I was just going to say, I um, think given, um, given the holidays that are coming up, and the fact that our commission meetings uh, are, are, are so close to the Thanksgiving and December holidays, I worry that we may not have forum to oh. maybe even have these meetings. So yes. I would suggest that if we extend, that we extend to maybe January. Um, Did you want January or February, adult, uh, Commissioner Sierra? I would like to see something that we can come back here in January, you know, um, and we we work on also, I want to mention that we were working on what already was um, uh, um, discussed and you created a kind of like a, a, a frame for this in the past, you and Trump and, and also uh, uh, the ex-commissioner um, uh, Sarm um, Sarmiento, uh, Pocha. Mm -hmm. um, so I think uh, a lot of work has been done, and I think uh, January can be a good time for us to just. Um, so then, why don't we um, set a date? Would that be January 16? Would that be our uh, next correct potential meeting? So then, why don't we just extend it out till then? Okay. Um, and and, and um, put it on the agenda to kind of report out to the commission a, a formal report to the commission. So then um, the second item on our work study session um, calendar is to discuss the Arts and Culture Commissioner's quarterly presentations at the City Council. So um, it's, it was a suggestion um, that was made that perhaps we have um, on a rotating basis the different commissioners uh, you know, make a presentation um, to the city at, at a City Council meeting and kind of report back on what it is that we're doing. Yes, um, staff would be helping you prepare these presentations, so not to worry. You don't have to come up with it from scratch. Um, but it would just be a court, just so that council members and the public are more aware and informed of what all the accomplishments we're doing, you know, and just keeping them updated. Um, yeah, so it's been suggested since, you know, year, a few 
uh, the last uh, commission and you know, former commissioners and present commissioners as well that we do this as part of our PR <laughs> for the arts. So, um, so we're wondering if the uh, commissioners are, are in agree, uh, agreement to um, do this. Or is everybody okay taking a different quarter every four months? Right? Is it three months? Three months. It, does anybody object to um, doing this or uncomfortable speaking at city council meetings? No. Okay. So. It doesn't have to be a mandatory rotation. I mean, I think if. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. But I think since, since we're appointed by our different council members, I think, you know, I'm sure they would like to see us mm -hmm. at least kind of interfacing with the council. And yes. Because, yeah. So do you want to set for the next council meeting? Or is, there, is this a good time to do that? Or do you want to wait till the next year? I think maybe we can start in, in, in 2020. In 2020? Yeah. yeah. OK. And that way, maybe we'll have. Um, so the, the second council meeting in January would be, um, what day would that be? Would the, that be the 21st? Yeah, that's right. what it looks like, yes. Okay, so maybe we can do a target to present on the 21st yes, since we will have already it. formally presented our mural ordinance. Oh, know, that's a great idea. Right, to yeah. the commission and we'll have a little bit more uh, to be able to, to report back. Is anybody willing to volunteer to go first? Or do we want to do lottery? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just have a question I, I have to ask. Um, uh, I know we, this is a work study session, but we don't need to vote. Do, do, do we need to vote or something like that? We, we just no, have to go. We just, this is just a, a discussion about presentations that could happen at City Council. Um, there's no action required and no decisions that need to be made uh, at this time. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm for it. Okay. Yeah. I, I do. So you want to go first? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, Darn. I do, but, uh, oh, so I think what Commissioner Sierra is asking is that this is not an item that is required uh, uh, to have a vote in order for it to move forward. For us no. to. Okay. No, no vote is needed. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So. Everyone has had a chance to check their calendars. Um, who is not available on January 21st? That's, a, that's a, another way of asking who is actually available. <laughs> I usually have uh, meetings on Tuesday night with my work, and so I would need to find out what's the agenda for that that I can miss out so I can be here. That's my situation. It just doesn't make sense to send me first because yeah. I don't have the background. Uh -huh. But I could, I mean, I'm available and I'm happy to do it, but I just don't think the first one should be the new, newest appointee. Do I lead by example? I mean, yeah. okay. Um, I know I'm going to be really busy with work oh. January and February, so I don't want to commit. Mm. But in the case that no one can, I'll volunteer. I, I volunteer since I'm with War One. Let's do it and oh. culture and yeah. a chair. Yeah. We can do it. <laughs> okay, so, so don't vote. Yeah. I, I think I think that works. We'll start in Why the new, so numerical, order. Numerical, numerical order. Numerical order. Yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. We lead, we lead, by, like we lead by example. Right. Okay, right. so don't vote. Yeah. You're locked in. Okay, that's a and good that way. should really motivate you to have everything done to present <laughs> by January 16th. Correct. So War Two, get ready. <laughs> Okay, so is there any, uh, any further discussion on this? No? Okay, so then now um, it's time for public comments. Does the public have any comments that they wish to share with the commission? Um, please know that there is a three minute, um, uh, uh, yeah, a three minute limit. There are no public comments. There are no public comments. Okay, so does the staff have any comments that they wish to share with the commission? Yes, I just wanted to update you on two uh, projects that we're working on. 
Um, the first one is the promotional video we're doing of the arts and culture. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, we have a final draft, but I couldn't bring it up yet. On the, it's not on our website yet, so I'll send you the link. Um, and please share it, or if you have any feedback for the next time. And so that three minute one is complete. That showcases all, all well, most of the ones that we could get to um, arts organizations in, or, and cultural organizations in um, Santa Ana, all six wards. And it will be shown at the 150th uh, anniversary celebration on October 27th. So if you'd like to come and see that, it's wonderful. And it just makes you feel so proud of you know, the arts and, and so diverse. I, I myself didn't even know how many theater groups and all kinds of different things are happening in Orange County. So hopefully you'll enjoy it too. So the next step is we're working on the individual videos for each ward. Um, so that's, yeah, that's our next thing. Uh, and, um, and then finally, Willis and Sullivan Public Art Projects is going along swimmingly. Uh, we just had our Q&A uh, at the site yesterday, and we had a handful of people stop by and take a look at the site and ask questions, so um, we're hopeful that we'll get you know, a solid number of applications, um, particularly because the, it was pretty constraining our, our, our requirements. They had to be Santa Ana artists, you know, or an organization that wor or a group that worked with Santa Ana artists. Um, they uh, had to, uh, they could not do murals, benches, water features, you know, all these constraints. So it limits the pool that will actually apply. And plus the, the amount of money that we're offering to $18,000 uh, may not be a number that they're used to, maybe a little lower than what some public artists are used to uh, being offered. So with that, we're hoping that we'll, get, we'll still get strong applications. Um, they're due November, I'm sorry, yes, November 4th, just to refresh your, uh, your memory. Um, and, uh, and then I'll also, for the next meeting, I will present the five panelists, once they're all confirmed, um, that will be uh, reviewing the applications. And that's it. So now it's time for commissioner member comments. Uh, commissioner members, please note that no member may speak more than once until all have had an opportunity to speak. Also, the commission may vote to limit our comments to three minutes each if we feel the need. So we'll start with Commissioner Garcia. No comment. Okay, and Andres. Commissioner Andres. <laughs> I just want to say how pleased I am to be here and I'm really looking forward to working with all of you. No comment. Commissioner Sierra? No comments. No comment. Um, I guess my only comment is that there was uh, some discussion and intent to um, talk about our youth arts leadership immersion um, or institute or whatever uh, to the council actually to present uh, in September uh, during the youth arts month. Unfortunately, timing just kind of didn't work out um, to be able to present that, but it is our uh, intention to, um, to actually have the applications go live um, you know, by the end of the year so that we can have students starting to apply um, in the, uh, I guess in the spring semester. Um, so we are very hopeful that by making some sort of semi-public announcement that it will happen. <laughs> if you build it, they will come. So that's kind of the that's kind of the uh, idea in putting this out there. So that is our intention, and we are working closely with um, you know um, teachers and members of the um, and staff at SAUSD. So, so please uh, look forward to that. And I think that's it. All right, so with that, this meeting is adjourned. Our next regular meeting is scheduled for November 20th, 2019 at 5.30 p.m. Thank you.